Hey guys, got something new for you today to uh, check out and uh, just do a, a little overview and rant about. Um, as you can see, it came from Cabela's and you see a little maple leaf there, Cabela's Canada. This is the Cabela's Camp Furniture Camp Stool. And I will tell you, from checking it out in store, handling it, uh, sitting my rear end on it, um, actually, I'm just noticing right now, on the fly, I'm over the weight limit. But anyway, it feels like a tough little stool. Um, I was into the Cabela's store. First time I've actually been into one. Uh, I've ordered from them online numerous times. I've ordered firearms from them and other gear. Um, Cabela's opened up a new warehouse in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And they are complete idiots there. Uh, I'm sorry, but there's no other word for it. They have... Uh, any of you guys that have been following my videos, uh, if you've checked out any of my archery videos, I have a Samick Journey bow. Uh, my wife has a Samick Sage. I had intended on ordering myself a Samick Sage first. I hadn't heard of the Journey yet. And Cabela's had it for a good price in a 50 pound draw weight um, on their website. So I was all ready to order that. And that's an awful lot of reflection. I'm just going to drop this down a bit here, guys. I was all ready to order that uh, bow straight from Cabela's Canada. Did so. Went ahead, put my order through. For some reason, these, uh, these geniuses in this Calgary warehouse lost an entire skid of bows. So it was shown as available on their website, in stock, but they couldn't find them. So I waited two weeks while talking to Cabela's in the meantime on their on, on the phone. And they told me, oh, we're still looking for the pallet. We'll let you know when we ship it. Until eventually they said, ah, we can't ship it. Uh, we can't find that pallet of, uh, of bows. Um, we can check for a comparable product. Which, uh, if you're into archery, there's at least what Cabela's Canada sells. There's nothing comparable for less than $100 extra. There's really not. It's uh, that Sam X Sage um, is best bang for the buck in that in that price bracket. You really got to jump up uh, if you're going to get anything better. You got to spend a fair bit more money. So, in the end, they said, "Sorry, we can't help you. Uh, we'll just refund your money and uh, and you can order from somewhere else." Fair enough. It was uh, it was a royal pain. Wasted two weeks of my time, um, but I let them go ahead and and cancel the order uh, I really had no other choice and they said well sir will you accept a $15 gift card from us I kind of chuckled saying after two weeks here I'm probably never going to order from you online again uh, but yeah I'm not going to say no to $15 gift card sure so I got the gift card actually so they shipped the gift card and then they got a hold of me saying uh, we don't think we activated it properly when we shipped it out from the warehouse can you call us when you get your gift card so we can fix it? So they've already screwed up the apology, I guess you want to call it, um, in in the matter of screwing up the gift card. So I get it. I call them. They activate it for me on the phone. Now, I don't live in a city that has a Cabela's. I traveled to the Cabela's store, and I certainly didn't travel for the sake of a $15 gift card. So I waited a few months. Um, I mean, I just got the bow. It's only been three or four months, so certainly it didn't expire or anything like that. Got there, cruised around the, the, the Cabela store. Very impressive, nice store. Foolishly expensive prices uh, on some things, including knives. I'll get into that in a little bit. But uh, found this. $15. $14.99 Canadian. I had a $15 gift card, so by the time I pay tax and stuff, you know, I'm going to be around 16 or sorry, 17 bucks. In around there, 1680 something. Uh, so I thought that was great. Um, I'm going out with something I, I could use. Um, yeah. Get up to the cash. 
gave them a gift card, zero balance. So they screwed up my bow order. They screwed up activating the gift card. Then they tried to fix it, which they screwed up. And then I'm in store realizing this and it didn't surprise me. I, I wish it had surprised me. But anyway, so cabelas.ca online retailer garbage cabela's store they were helpful okay uh the cashier brought her manager out the manager asked me what happened i explained the whole scenario she said well you can call you know the the call center and i very bluntly said i am done dealing with those people if you'd like to call the call center feel free but as of right now i'm leaving this at the counter and i'm walking away she said, give me 10 minutes, go look around the store, I'll call and I'll figure it out. I gave her my name, I'm not trying to pull the wool over anyone's eyes here, so that she could track it down. Came back about 10 minutes later, she said she really didn't have time to do it. She had scratched the UPC off of this, essentially told me it was easier for her just to write off the stock. Here you go, sir, have a nice day. I said, look, I stole you the difference, you know, I." whatever it is, two bucks. Um, and she just, she said, no, no, she, she had it in the bag ready to go. When I got to the cash, they gave it to me. Okay. Now it was a $15 gift card. I wasn't in there trying to get hundreds of dollars of free merchandise. I wasn't in there trying to get any free merchandise. I had already been given this gift card, uh, for my troubles on trying to order my bow. So like I said, the website I'm done. I will not order anything else from cabelas.ca. I did enjoy the store. The staff was courteous. It was a nice place to be. They had some really nice taxidermy in there. Just a cool place to go. Um, a lot of nice stuff in there. A lot of nice gear. Really solid, solid clothing. They had some good knives and stuff. Uh, so yeah, just if you go to a Cabela store, I think you'll probably get good service. I've always liked their stuff. I like their their hoodies. Their you know they carry a lot of nice Under Armour gear. Um, just whatever you want in there, you, they've probably got it. But stay away from their website if you're in Canada. Just stay away. Anyway, um, yeah. One last little bit of rant. My wife, when we were spending our ten minutes waiting for her to straighten this out, we went back to the knife counter. They had a Kershaw chive. Uh, this was the rainbow finished one. Um, so she kind of liked that. She thought she might like that for her purse. It was $129 Canadian. And she said, oh, I really like it, but that's expensive. I went over to Warriors and Wonders because I knew that wasn't right. And it is MSRP. It is. But who sells it at that? Uh, yeah, $69.99 at Warriors and Wonders. $14 shipping. So... Yeah, Cabela's has got some nice stuff, but I don't think they're trying to compete with anybody for price. Um, in the particular area where I was, uh, I know there's a Bass Pro Shop opening soon, so hopefully that can kick them in the rear end a little bit. But anyway, let's get on to this thing. I really like it. Um, I used to carry a let's rip that open. I used to carry a tripod stool, just strap it over my back when I'm out uh, hunting. And that's the main reason I use it is for hunting, not for, not for camping or, uh, or really anything other. Because uh, when I'm out in the woods for, you know, eight, ten hours at a time, I'd like to sit up against a tree and not necessarily have my rear end on the, uh, on the leaves and, and moss. I'd rather be dry, um, of course, hunting in the fall. But uh, it's got a nice little pack bag here. Honestly, I probably won't use it. Uh, what I will most likely do is make myself a little uh, strap out of paracord to go onto the actual uh, stool itself. But let's uh, open this thing up. So this again is called the Cabela's Camp Furniture Camp Stool. And actually, it's got a pretty good little strap right here already that would not go around my torso, I can tell you that right now. Um, but it's got something there. You can strap it to something. 
I guess, and tighten it down. Um, I'll probably work something else out in there to make it a little more convenient for myself. But this thing, it's got some nice heavy duty plastic built into it. Um, I assume that, yeah, that's a, that's a plastic centerpiece, but it's, it's solid. It really feels rugged. Uh, Velcro strap at the top, pop her open. And then it just collapses out or folds out. Sorry. And here, I'll get it down on the floor for you so you guys can see a little bit better. thing is solid that's a really nice feeling stool uh, it's got a little net on the side of it if you can see that there so I guess if you're here sitting down having a snack whatever you got some garbage you can just chuck it in there for the time being uh, like I said I, I usually go with the tripod one just because I could find them cheap and they're easy to pack around but uh, one thing I noticed on the tripod one that I had is it had plastic feet that uh, were always uh, I was, one was going missing or breaking or whatever. These look much more resilient. Um, they appear to be plastic as well, uh, but they're they're pretty rugged feeling. These legs are solid. Nice coating on there. Oh, well, you can see it. Yeah, it's a cool finish on the coating. Nice color brown on the uh, the seat itself. Very comfy. Be great for sitting out in the woods. Put your back up against a tree, uh, or around a campfire. What, what, whatever you would uh, want to use it for. I think it's uh, a great little stool. Like I said, for fifteen dollars, if you've got a Cabela store near you, go out and grab one. You can strap that to your back, do all your running around in the woods, um, and sit down and have a break whenever you want. It's a cool little piece of gear. I apologize for having about half of this video a rant. I'm going to tell you, if you want this um, and you have a Cabela's store near you, I think you should go pick one up because it's an awesome little stool. It says the maximum capacity is 225 pounds. Um, I mean, I'm 230, so and it, and it certainly didn't feel like I was flexing it at all. Uh, it, it felt comfy. It felt sturdy. But uh, I don't know how heavy they usually rate these collapsible stools. Probably not that heavy anyway. Uh, they usually work for, for guys like me, no problem. So um, so if you get a Cabela's store close, go pick one up. If you don't, I suggest you find something else because I wouldn't order it from their website. Um, just my two cents, guys, but I hope you like it. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, keep the videos coming. Thanks.